What up guys, today on Bachelor on a Budget, we are making quinoa stuffed peppers. So we are gonna fill these guys with quinoa and lots of delicious flavors and some beans and some onions. And we're gonna roast these and it's gonna be super delicious. We're gonna make about four servings here, so four peppers cut in half. I left a little tail on a cup of these just to make it really pretty for you guys. And I've actually done a similar recipe to this before, except uh, we use ground beef and uh, I had made these into little jack-o'-lanterns uh, for Halloween a couple of years ago. But now that I'm on a mostly plant-based diet, we're making these plant-based. So let's get into it. Let's preheat the oven, 400 degrees. We're gonna add one cup of quinoa and one cup of water. You can also use a vegetable stock here, but I'm going in with a bit of salt. And we're going to bring that to a boil. Then we'll lower it to simmer once it hits a boil. While those things are heating up, I've cut these in half. We're just going to add some olive oil to these and uh, salt them a bit. And we're going to get these in the oven early. We're just going to get a tiny bit of olive oil, maybe a bit more than tiny. Then you can just rub it all together. Yeah, rub it together. With clean hands, of course. Don't scare your guests. And I got about a teaspoon of salt. That has already reached a boil, so we can lower that heat. Let's start pre-cooking these peppers. It's not even quite 400, but uh, those are gonna take the longest. We'll probably have those peppers in there for about 20 minutes or just until our quinoa mixture is done. And we're gonna take them out and stuff our peppers. So even if your oven's not at 400, you can let it overcook a bit more or undercook. The peppers are flexible. Like even if you go 10 minutes over, 10 minutes under, it's still gonna be delicious. We're trying not to complicate things too much here. Keep it simple, stupid. No, not you, not you. Make sure you stir your quinoa. was done. I got a large pan. We'll put a medium high heat. Put we'll a couple tablespoons of olive oil and our onions. Uh, it's just about oh, one and a half cups of onion. It was one medium one. Those are just starting to brown, so we got our garlic. I have one drained can of black beans. You can also use kidney beans or mix. Remember, kids, cans of beans can cut you. We are adding one cup of frozen corn. And we'll mix that all together. I got a tablespoon of chili powder, about a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of cumin, and about a tablespoon of paprika. I'll do about a teaspoon of salt, about to taste. And mix that all around. And let's add that quinoa. And give that a good mix. You want to give this a taste to see if it needs anything. Could use a bit more salt and a bit more chili powder. So this is optional depending on how saucy you like it, but you can add some salsa to add some moisture to that. That's about half a cup there. I like to do that with my tacos too and any of these text mess dishes. And that's done. I think it's time we take out our peppers. Look at the color on these things. They actually have some water in here, but that'll be all right. Let's just dump in some of this. It's all right if you mix. And you will likely have extra filling if uh, you made as much as I did and used tiny peppers like these. Let's get this back in the oven for about 15 minutes. I've already had mine in for quite a bit. Let's get this out of there. Oh yeah, those are perfect. Some optional nutritional yeast. Give it some nice vegan cheesy flavor. I'll garnish with a bit of avocado. And some red onions. These are also optional to add a nice little crisp freshness. Fresh coriander, otherwise known as cilantro, which 
I usually call it. Also optional, but man, these three toppings make a world of difference. Also optional hot sauce. And I think we're done. Voila! Look at these bad boys. How good do these look? I'll get a plate. That is solid. That avocado is a must. And I didn't have it, but if you have a bit of lime juice, oh, that'll go so nice on this. I add some more avocados. Oh, please feel free to use a fork and knife. And depending on your pepper size, you'll probably have a fair bit of uh, leftover of the mixture. So you can either make a little less quinoa or fry it up with some more veggies for some breakfast or make a taco salad out of it. It's quite versatile. You can put it in a burrito. Well, I hope you like this one, you know, once you try it, because then I know you'll love it. And I'd love to hear from you. If it's your first time here, say hello down below. And if you watch all my videos, also let me know. I appreciate you guys. But thank you guys for watching. If it's your first time here, Hit that subscribe button, hit the little alarm notification so you get notified. Because the more you guys watch, the more YouTube's like, huh, people like to watch his videos. Let's show more of them. So click some more right here. And you're going to learn how to cook some amazing dishes at home using Whole Foods and being able to do so affordably. But thank you for watching.